I think it's called the Namaraka. Namaraka. Namuraka. Alright, so it's time for another beauty haul. This time, stuff I bought in Japan. I didn't get as many things in Japan as I did in Korea, mostly because of the language barrier. So I know that there are a lot of great makeup and skincare products or beauty products in general in Japan but it's really difficult to shop for them unless you do a lot of research in advance because none of the products have English on them. Um, but without further ado, I will share with you the few things that I did pick up. I guess it's not a few. First, I picked up a couple of things from a brand called Elegance. I got an eyeshadow, a lip color, and also a nail polish. This also came in a box, but I've since thrown it out. This is from their cruise line. So um, the first thing is a nail polish, and it's just a gray polish. I'm wearing it on my nails right now, and this is in the number 24, and that's really all I can tell you. Made in Japan, and the reason why I picked this up is when I looked at the bottle in the store, it looked like a gray with some like gold shimmer in it but sadly when i put it on my nails there is no gold shimmer it's just a gray nail polish this is the eyeshadow right and that's what it looks like and i got shade n14 and it's just this really pretty shimmery bronze shade and i don't really wear a lot of um, eyeshadow in general but that's just a really nice neutral color that I would wear very wearable so it's that and a little mirror on it which is so cute so just the prettiest little thing and then the last thing I got is the shell balm again it comes in like a pearly compact similar to the eyeshadow and the bottom is gold and I got this in shade 03 and basically what this is it's a lip balm compact and you have a plain, like clear balm on one side and a orangish balm on the other side, but it's very sheer. Um, there really is like barely any color to it. So when you put it on your lips, there's like barely any color. It's basically two clear balms, really. But yeah, it's just so beautiful. The other makeup products I got are just eyeliners. So. These are apparently the number one best-selling eyeliners in Japan. They are called the Mote Liner. So I got one in brown and I got one in black. So this is the packaging for black. And there's a sticker on it which means it's like one of the best sellers. So everything in, I think, Asian countries, if there's like a big sticker on it, it really means it's like a bestseller or it's award-winning or something like that. These are really amazing. This is the brown one that I have open already. So the pen is just like a really nice geometric shape, which I think is really cool. And this has, what does it say? The Yamato Takumi brush. So most pen liners for your eye, it's usually just like a rubber tip or some kind of one material tip this is actually a brush so there are if you look closely like little hairs the application is just so smooth and it's not too much liner at once so you can have like a really fine line as well so you can see that but a really really fine line like that i'm not a huge eyeliner person i don't know a lot about makeup i have tried quite a few different pen eyeliners before in the past and this one really is the best that i've tried when you put it on it's so precise and it doesn't smudge it like dries right away and it doesn't move which is amazing so this is the brown and it's like a very dark almost like a black brown and i will show you the black one the black one is in a silver pen like this and so these three lines here that really thin one a medium one and like a thicker one those are the black so it's just slightly darker than the brown one yeah these are great um, they sell these at Don Quixote but they were completely sold out the day I went to get them 
and I was really sad and I thought I was going to leave Japan without them but then I found them at the airport so I bought these at the airport so yeah those are the two eyeliners and that's it for makeup I did write some notes down which is why I keep looking down in this corner because my notepad is right there so yeah okay so I think the rest of the stuff I bought um, I picked up at Don Quixote which is like a huge I guess it's like a I don't even know what to call it. Is it a drugstore? Kind of like a big shopper's drug mart, but kind of Dollarama-ish in its vibe, if that makes sense. So I picked up um, a bunch of skincare stuff. So I'm going to get started with cleansers. What I picked up is this one. It's the Senka Perfect Whip. Senka is a brand by Shiseido. And this is a number one bestseller. On all the lists I found for things you should buy while you're in Japan, before I went. Um, this was basically on every single list. It's a foam cleanser, nothing too special in my opinion. I actually find it quite drying. Um, I have been using it every day since I bought it just because I do want to get through it. It was relatively inexpensive. I think it was around 400 yen, which is extremely cheap for a Shiseido product. It's okay, it foams up really nicely, but I do find that right after I rinse this off my face my face does feel pretty dry and and tight so i need to tone and moisturize right away but glad i'm trying it i don't think i would pick this up again the next time i go over there though this is called the i'm gonna pronounce this wrong i think it's called the namaraka sauna isoflavin cleansing foam it contains soybean isoflavin which I guess it's good for your face. It is a foam cleanser. It is a number one best-selling product in Japan. Um, and I just really wanted to try it because soybean, it sounded like it might be good for your skin. Um, and it was very affordable. I think this was around 600 yen, definitely under 900 yen. It has no fragrance, no artificial colors, and also no mineral oil. And from all the reviews and descriptions I found when researching this product, it says that it leaves your skin feeling very soft. It does claim to remove makeup, but in the reviews, everyone said it doesn't really remove makeup, so I would still do an oil cleanser first and then use this as the water-based cleansing step, but yeah. All right, and the last cleanser I got is this one. Oops. This is the Evita Beauty Whip Soap by Kanebo or Kanebo and I haven't opened it yet as you can see and it comes in a really pretty plastic packaging. I'm just gonna open it now though so I can show you guys. And the real reason why I got this is just because it sounded really cool. Um, I kept seeing it on again lists for what to buy when you go to Japan. This Foam cleanser is not a bestseller though. There's no stickers or anything on the packaging from what I can see or tell. Um, but the main kind of appeal of this cleanser is the fact that when, when you press down on these tabs to get the cleanser out of the can, it's shaped as a rose, which is really cool. So this cleanser is formulated for aging skin. Um, and also it smells like roses. And it contains sodium hyaluronate which is um, good for moisture. So looking forward to trying that. All right, so the next thing um, is this package of Biore makeup wipes. These typically come in like a little plastic tub like the picture indicates right here. I just bought the refill box because I didn't have room in my luggage for something like a little plastic tub. Plus I just wanted to test it out. Um, Apparently these are really great for removing eye makeup, as you can see in the box. I personally don't love these. I would not repurchase these on my next trip to Japan uh, for several reasons. So first, I don't like the way that these smell. They have a very strong scent to them and I don't even, it's just like a perfumey washroom scent so I don't like the scent of these um, the second thing is they're very small so I don't know about you guys but I wear like 82 layers of mascara because I have like no eyelashes I wear a ton of waterproof mascara which is very difficult to remove 
and I need like two of these just for my eyes so again it's too small and lastly I don't like the texture um, but I'm just going to show you how they work by removing the Mote eyeliner from my hand so it does work very well the Mote eyeliner is also a waterproof product but it's completely gone they're very stretchy but they are very thin I just don't like the texture I much rather prefer the uh, Life brand 3-in-1 cleansing cloths that you can get from Shoppers Drug Mart. Those are still by far my favorite cleansing wipes. Not a huge fan of these ones. You see these in Japan? Purchase at your own risk. Last few beauty products I picked up are sheet masks. So I purchased just three packages of sheet masks. I did get some more but I gave them away as gifts. These are the three packages I purchased for myself. And they're all by the same brand, Lulu Loon. And there are seven sheet masks in each package. So it's a resealable, kind of like Ziploc bag package. And you have seven sheet masks. And the idea behind it is to do a sheet mask every day for seven days. So it says seven days on the package there. These sheet masks come in like a ton of different package colors. The blue ones are for uh, moisture and I think they contain hyaluronic acid, which is really good. Um, the green one that I have here, these ones are, sorry about the glare, these ones are specific to Kyoto, so they only sell them in Kyoto and they do this a lot. They have ones that are specific to different um, areas of Japan, which I think is really cool. Um, and it contains Uji tea, so there's a little tea cup here in the corner, and I believe this one also contains silkworm cocoon extract. Not sure what that does for the skin, I'm gonna look it up, but that's pretty neat. The last ones I picked up are in this gold package, and these are called the Precious line, and they make a gold package and a red package, and they're targeted towards um, an older demographic, so over 40, because they focus on things like anti-aging. So this is an anti-aging one, and it's also for brightening the skin and even skin tone. So this one contains niacinamide. Those are the three masks I picked up, and these are relatively inexpensive. I think one package like this with seven masks was around five or six dollars this one i actually bought in a pack of five so five times seven you essentially get 35 masks and i think the box was only like 14 or 15 dollars i gave all of the other packages away as gifts and then i kept one for myself so this was essentially like three dollars all right so that is it that is all of the beauty products that i purchased in japan hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one